Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next uh, video and our next uh, lecture in this course on how to use Amazon Video Direct to sell your own videos in the huge Amazon Video Marketplace. Uh, now we are here uh, in my dashboard as you can see here on the screen and I want to talk to you guys in this lecture about what type of videos you should use and what type of videos you should sell on Amazon Video Direct. Now probably most of you guys will create uh, video uh, videos that are somehow a type of tutorial or you already have created online courses and you want to sell online courses on Amazon and uh, as you will see right now you have three types of videos that you can actually use uh, use on Amazon and publish on Amazon. First of all you have stand standalone type of videos okay and as you can see I already published one it's uh, I am waiting for it right now to be approved and published on all of the platforms okay that Amazon has and practically the standalone type of videos it's when uh, when you publish a single video that it can be either a tutorial or a full movie or a music video clip or uh, uh, I don't know something like that okay something uh, like a workshop something very uh, it's either short or it's a full movie or uh, anyway it's in a single video okay and let's have a look at the one that I've already published uh, so you guys can see exactly which are the settings that you need to create uh, inside the uh, inside the uh, practically the, your product when you launch your video so you will have a catalog listing so that's uh, that's for all the free types of videos that you want to publish the products that you want to publish okay uh, it's the same for standalone episodic and subscription uh, this uh, this form right here so you'll have a catalog listing where you will have the title the category obviously if you are into online courses you will select educational then this is the metadata i was talking to you about so uh, in the synopsis uh, it's like the description that you have to create and be sure that you create it somehow you uh, search engine optimized because uh, it will help uh, people practically uh, uh, get their eyes on your product in the amazon marketplace okay because they will look for certain keywords and they will find your product there uh, so be be careful with the title be careful with the synopsis so you can have those keywords that you know people are looking for and your product gets in their uh, in their uh, practically in their range much easier okay then you will have uh, to select okay the category in which you want to 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 find the 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 product in the marketplace okay in the category in which uh, practically people will see your videos and obviously for um, for this type of video it's like a tutorial what i have published here uh, i selected the non-fiction non-fiction business and finance non-fiction career and jobs non-fiction educational and non-fictional non-fiction educational professional and career development so this is probably uh, these are the type of things that you'll select to the type of categories then I had the rating system I haven't selected any type of rating system because I don't have suggested rating it's for all ages be sure to select original uh, language English a release date it's not something that you have to select and then you have the graphic assets okay so the background image and the poster of the of the video that I've talked to you about so as you can see here you will have the background image which exactly it has to be the 16 to 9 ratio and i've created the one like this then you have the poster and i've created one like this that it has to be 3 to 4 ratio and then again the background image that it's 16 to 9. i will show you exactly how you can easily create this type of images uh, this one my poster looks better than the background images because i didn't take a lot of time to create them but i will probably recreate them and uh, that's about it in this uh, in this uh, practically category in this form of the catalog catalog listing okay how it will look in the marketplace then you have the cast and the, and the crew you also have to practically uh, uh, to sign your information in here too okay to to give your information in here too so you have the studio creator your name then you have the crew at least one crew member is required your name again okay role producer obviously if you have a movie uh, which has actors and everything else you will add all the team here okay all the crew here then you have cast 
again okay for movies if you have a, a certain uh, character in your movie you will add the you will add practically uh, you will add the character here and you will say which actor is playing that character so uh, for me it was simple it was my name and character the presenter of the tutorial okay obviously and then you press save and that is that okay so we are done with this one too then you have the video assets these are actually this is the part where you upload your video and your captions okay so uh, here practically it's your main video in the mezzanine file you if you are using amazon s3 services for uh, hosting files you can either select your file directly from amazon or you can upload your file from here okay so I've uploaded my main file here. Then you have the captions here. Uh, be sure to know the frame rate of your video. Okay, because you can select the frame rate from here, the language. And as you can see, my caption has a, a CSS uh, type of uh, extension. And then if you have a trailer for your movie, for your standalone video, web series or whatever, here you can upload your video. Do not forget that it has to be high definition. Then you have the availability and also the prices, which we will talk about more in a new, uh, in another uh, lecture, a different video, but the availability, okay, where do you have the rights for this video? Worldwide, it's created by you. How will Amazon customers watch the video? You can either select only people that have Amazon Prime. You can select free with pre-roll ads, so you will make money out of pre-roll ads. Uh, rent it if you want to rent it or buy for people who will actually want to buy it then we will have a look at the pricing in a different video after you complete all these four categories your video will be up now let's go back to the type of videos that you have we also have episodic videos and probably this is what you will be interested in if you are building an online course and if we have a look at uh, this title here that I have online personal branding hacking you can add different seasons, obviously, but you will probably most likely add a, a, a sole season, okay, for an online course. So I have online personal branding hacking season one, catalog listing. Again, you have seen exactly how it's created. Then you have cast and crew, okay. Again, you have seen how it's created and is the same. And then you have episodes. So for each series, you will have an episode, okay. Practically, this is where you will put your lectures for your course. You will have like, uh, like I have, okay, my course, it's like a season and each lecture, it's an episode, okay? So I have episodes here. You have to obviously add descriptions and everything else, okay? But uh, I don't have this one available yet because uh, I, I still have to create the captions for it. And then you also have the availability where it's exactly the same like in the other part okay now in a future lecture we will talk about and uh, next video we'll talk about the pricing uh, the pricing type that you have okay and the pricing choices that you have and you also have the subscription based program okay this one is available only for the united states so uh, this is a little bit different i wouldn't recommend you to start with this only if you I, I gave you examples if you have like TV shows and you constantly are producing content because this is a little bit more uh, more complicated and tricky because you have to constantly produce content to keep your subscribers happy. But this is these are the free type of, uh, of videos that you can post on Amazon. Uh, probably, as I've told you before, for online courses, this will be the most uh, uh, the most logical choice for you. Also, if you have short tutorials, standalone can be great and can create awareness and can create you money from ads. So this is a great way to start too. Now, thank you very much, guys, for your attention. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I wish you all the best and I'm looking forward to see you in our next video. Bye bye for now. Sorry.